because there's no mistakes in paper. If you don't like it, you start again. All right, you ready to go? Hi guys, 15 world explorers here. Okay, no, actually we're just three today. Just three of us. We are going to meet a friend of ours called Mary Lou. And she's a very cool see. hobby. Oh, you right, will okay. see what it is. Are you excited to go see this mm -hmm. hobby? She's okay, gonna teach go. us how she's gonna make it. Well, let's go see let's how go we see. make it. Come on. We're gonna, first of all, we have to shred up some old paper. Just put it in the big bread. And we lift this up. Oh, 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 oh. And instead of making plain, boring little white paper, we're going to make some really pretty paper. It's multicolored little paper. Yep, it's going to be, I call it confetti paper. <laughs> so we're going to take this outside. You can dump it all in, Luca. Good job. Huh. Look at all that paper. Oh my gosh, that's the whole thing. Yeah. This might take a long time. This is more like it. Luca, you want to put some water in here? Put some water in there, Luca. It has to be soup, basically, Luca. A uh, soup? Yeah. Oh, so it has to be this small of paper. It can't be any bigger. Right? It's harder. It's a bit small. Okay. Wow. Okay. How much paper did you make? Uh, we're not going to make about 30 sheets today. 30 sheets of paper. Now we're going to put the lid on so it doesn't fly all over. And push this button and count about 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. Here's the count of 15. Should this never break? Oh, yeah. I thought you could put it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'd like some yeah. smoothie, please. Okay. Yes. I love paper Looks smoothies. Good enough to eat. Anybody want to take a sip? <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> now. We pour the paper water, I guess. You call this slurry. There's a spoon for stirring it up. So it Stir it. Now we have to do another batch. Oh, we have to do okay. So now I have to keep pouring it till this is empty. Yep. You keep okay. putting this in. If you get too much paper, it bogs down. Oh. Just do it little by little. Ooh. Like how white are we aiming for? Mm -hmm. Or very dense? It needs to be a certain thickness, otherwise your paper comes out too thin. So, so if you want to make thicker paper, it has to be even denser. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the deeper you dip, you'll see that as you start dipping. Okay. I want a little bit of the colors to still be in there, like little confetti flakes. Just because it's full. Oh. So Ooh. you can see it didn't completely break up, but that makes it interesting. But now it's even thicker, I can yeah. see now. Yes. Now it looks much so denser. Now, I'm going to take a screen, and it's easier to start with a small screen. It's going to lift straight up. There we go. Now you have the paper. Now so you've got some big pieces that we don't, we don't really want those. Because you see I made yeah, a hole. Do you see where I made a hole? Oh, you have to you fill up the holes that you... Okay. Either that or you can dump it up. You can just do this. It's called kissing it off. <laughs> and you can start yeah, all over. Because there's no mistakes in paper making. If you don't like it, you start again. Are you ready to dip? Yeah. Um, all the way to the bottom, and then lift straight up. There look at go. that. See, Luca? Okay. Whoa. Now, we're going to take the sponge. Oh, a sponge. And put it on the bottom. Oh. See, it's already drying out. We're going to press as much water out of it as we can. You're going to take your name and put your initials here. Oh, we do uppercase, okay, sure. I can't wait to show mom this. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna put this up on the rack to dry. Now, unfortunately, it's not a hot sunny day, so it's gonna take a while. So normally, how long does it take for the tape paper to dry? Um, just a couple of hours on a really hot day. Oh. Now we're taking it off, Luca. See? Whoa. Is it really hard to take it off? Yeah, it tears very easily because it's wet paper. Why would I do it? <gasps> Coming off so easily. Very delicate process. See, Luca? 
How the boy? See? Mm. That's it's all right. We'll fix it. You can fix it when it's wet. You can fix it when it's dry. Really? But you've got a nice section up here that's still very usable. What we're going to do is get the um, baster that's, and get some slurry. Get slurry to fix it's it like up. that glue. Yeah. Duct tape. Paper tape. Tub tape. Slurry tape. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. Put it flat on the ironing board. Okay, you guys... Do you have a favorite one? Yes. All the way in the other room. Oh the gosh. iron board. Okay, go, go. Okay, be careful, Luca. I'm trying. <laughs> Wait, are we going to iron it? Yeah, look. Put okay. it there. Okay, Wait. guys, we're going to show you the two ways you can make the paper. So first, you get the paper, like well, how you saw before, and then you bring it over here. You can either do what we're about to do, or you can just hang it to dry. So now we're going to show you what you do here. <laughs> So you get the sponge, you can put it under. Yeah, the more water you get out of it, the easier it is to use. So we do this one to get to make it dry even faster, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If you cooch it off, you have to get you have to squeeze a lot of water out mm. of it. So you iron the paper too, you sometimes. Can, you can iron it. Yeah, you can um, iron it. If you need it to use it right away. Like, now, do you want this piece of paper as it is, or do you want it to have some design in it? Like you can do this. That's String nice. one, this roll the uh, design into That's it. nice. Oh, I mean, you're good. If you want the paper to be dark, you could you would cut darker paper. If you want yes. it to be light, you cut it light. That's okay. Right. Let the cloth help you. Okay, you got a little bit here. It's all right, as long as you get a section that's good. And you know how to patch it now. Can you make paper without cutting other paper? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can make paper out of vegetables. Oh, really? I, out I of made, vegetables? I made spinach paper. It stunk to high heavens. Spinach paper? Oh, it stunk to high And it was really crispy paper <laughs> when it was done. And I made lemon paper, which smelled really good. Lemon, oh my God. Oh, look how pretty it is. Lemon, lemon. Look, I know you're going to have some beautiful stuff there. Snack break. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, were you hungry, Luca? You yeah. Right after a quick lunch break, we are now going to be decorating the paper. Oh. We'll show so that it looks like dry. It's hard now. I mean, yes. you can still rip it, of course. This is my paper because I put the feathers. So when Mary Lou took them off, there's now the glitter of the feathers. <laughs> and this is mine. Which, it looks very cool. It has a bunch of little tiny spots. Yay! This is Luca's, and we have a few more to decorate. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm. Are you steady? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. You guys decorate all you want. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, okay, here we go. The most important person we have to ask just went outside. Uh, okay. Where'd she go? Okay. Wait. Hey. Where are you going? The most important person we have to ask is Molly. Are you ready? Where are you going? Hey, you have to come do it with us. You don't just leave. Hey, mm. dogs. These are the different types of paper. So like this one is sawdust paper. Huh. This That's one has like a pattern. You see like that. This one, she has a, a lady that paints on it for her. So she would normally put a one like this, but she paints on the back because it's smoother. Huh. So the paper that we did, what, what would this be called? It's just recycled paper. Oh, okay. Oh, elephant? Elephant poop. Oh yes, no, we've seen elephant poop. Elephant poop. Let me smell it, Luca. It smells it nice. It doesn't smell anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't smell like anything. I knew that. <laughs> Collect the poop and mm -hmm. they make paper. Mm -hmm. You have to decide. If you want to use the paper that you made, then you choose something to go with it. Choose a part of your paper to fit on there. Oh. Okay. Because this is the envelope yeah, you're yeah, yeah. when you're done. What part do you like the best? Yeah. I want the deck pizza. Two ways to do it. You can cut it with a paper cutter, or you can tear it. You want to go right you there? You like it right there, Luca. So this is okay tearing it. But you can cut it with a paper cutter if you want to. The paper cutter low will make it look a little bit straighter the lines. Yes. Okay. Did you choose what you're going to put on it for your decoration? Nope. What are you going to use for decoration? Uh, the shelves? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have to. <laughs> if you have your finger just barely out of line, you can go, 
And trust me, you do not want to have nine fingers. You need an old pen. Plus, your father will want to know what happened to your yeah, finger. Yeah, but I feel very slow. Okay, done. So we have to decide what paper we're going to put behind what do you think on the back that? of it. So for the oh, butterfly, we're like going to put like one? a purple. Okay. And, and for some the some brown. For the, but the, will, the sh will the shells blend with the brown? Or? No, because see, you're going to put that between. Ah, okay. Just a minute. So measure the paper. No, no this paper. Oh, this. Wow. So it's Stop. how much? Yeah. Four. Let's say four. So right there. Wow, that's now nice. We're gonna now we're going to oh. test it and see how it fits. So it's okay if it's slightly bigger? Smaller? It's supposed to be. Okay. Because you want a little bit of this white to mm. show because then that picks up the color of your shell. Yeah. That one can be glued, I'll get you some glue. Now the trick with glue, you want a little bit of glue on the edges and you don't need any in the middle at all. Okay, you do like make it make it make it a square. The rectangle. Okay, that's good. See that? Over there. Kind of good. Now, pull one well in the middle of here. So maybe we'll yeah. use that one. Yes. Yeah, if you like to, you can have it. And it's okay to use your fingers. You see, if you put a big blob, sometimes it leaves a lump. So less is better. Yeah. Now you want to make it show exactly the same amount of white on all sides. That's going to be really nice. Oh! Now you have a, a nice, look at this one has some nice blue spots in it. So you could use that. Okay, there we go. I cut it. Hmm. So Murph, let's cut this part. Okay. Which side this side is better. This side okay, is better. So, so All right. you're gonna put the glue so on the other side. Tiny spot of glue. Even tinier. Even smaller. Really, really small one. Just barely tap it. Now we're gonna do this. Huh? With our fingers. Oh hey, I want to glue on my fingers. No, I knew you wouldn't. Hold the mm -hmm. They will glue to your shoes. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, what? now you're ready to put your dragonfly on. That would be good. There, now it's going to the flower. You press down really hard. Now you need to sign your beautiful piece of artwork. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. You know, he <laughs> Michelangelo. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. look, perfect. It's finished. Now you need an envelope because you can mail this to someone. Mail it, mail it to, let's oh. mail it from here to Mama. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're doing the torn edge. No, I'm doing the torn edge here. We might have to tear a little off after. Now we want it to be slightly smaller than this so your border shows. When you dry it on the screen and you just take the edge, it'll peel right off very easily. See, Luca? So and this is mine. It's the easiest way to do it if you have a lot of screen. And this is mine. Yeah. These two are mine. I think one of them is Emma's. No, these two. She said one of them was hers. No, no, no. So no, since no. we left them out to dry, we no, were able no, to just no, peel them no, off. No, no, no. Right, Luca? No, no, 
Okay, he's all no now. Okay, guys, this is the final product. What do you think? Do you like it? Or do you like it? So I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell. Comment below if you saw the whole video. Actually, comment which one is your favorite. I, this one is the butterfly, the dragonfly, shells on a beach, autumn, cacti, and cacti. Luca copied me. Which one do you like the best? And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. You, you only have to make paper out of paper? You can make paper out of just about anything. But you can grind up, sometimes you acid wash it to break it down. Any plant materials, um, sawdust works really well. Spinach, lemons, uh, onions. I've even made onions? Out of onions. No way. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. What got you interested in paper making? Oh, I started doing it with my students at school. Oh. We made paper and then we'd make a project out of it. And then uh -huh. I got a little carried away. <laughs> now I have thousands of pieces. <laughs> and guys, the best part about this paper is that she, with the parts that she's using, she reuses it again to make even more. Mm -hmm. So nothing goes to waste. Yeah. And she even sells it. A lot of paper. Thank you, Mary Lou, for making us do a paper. You're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> we really liked it. Right, Luca? Okay, you're over and out. <laughs> Studying wrong. Over and out. Yeah. Goodbye, there, Bye. Lou. Bye. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Boots. Buddy, gotta use the ramp. I know. Boots. No.